This is a quick video about bosentin. Bosentin, the, the clinical use of bosentin is pulmonary hypertension. And the mechanism of action of bosentin is it is an endothelin receptor uh, antagonist or an endothelin receptor blocker. Now, what exactly is endothelin? Endothelin is a substance which is produced by the Endotheli endothelial cells of the blood vessels. These, this endothelin is also found in the smooth muscle of blood vessels. Okay. Now the ones that are found in, this, in the smooth muscles of blood vessels, they, ha they, are, they have a specific receptor and these receptors are called endothelin A. And the ones that are found um, which are released from the endothelial cells of the blood vessels, those endothelial, uh, endothelin receptors are called endothelin receptor B. Now they both fall under, both A and B fall under endothelin receptor 1, both endothelin A and endothelin B. Okay, so they're both under endothelin receptor 1. Now the mechanism of action of bosentin is endothelin receptor blocker, specifically endothelin receptor blocker of endothelin receptor 1. Now it's going to block endothelin B and endothelin A. Now bosentin is only used for pulmonary hypertension. It's only licensed to be used in pulmonary hypertension in US. So that is the only point where we use Bosentin. But as you can see from the de description of endothelin that it is not limited to uh, only the lungs. It is found in other areas as well, blood vessels of, of endothelial cells, blood vessels of the smooth, the smooth muscles of the blood vessels, right? But it is only licensed to be used in pulmonary hypertension uh, in U.S. Now I want to expand a little bit more on endothelin. I just want to say that um, endothelin uh, the substance endothelin is responsible for um, vasoconstriction and retention of sodium, specifically under endothelin A. Now you can see that through endothelin A, it secretes, uh, it causes vasoconstriction and it causes retention of sodium. So what happens when there is vasoconstriction and retention of sodium? There is hypertension. So endothelin A stimulation can actually cause hypertension. What about endothelin B? Endothelin B uh, secretes NO, and as we know that NO is responsible for lowering blood pressure. So now you can see that endothelin A increases blood pressure, endothelin B decreases blood pressure. But we also have to know that when endothelin is created created or secreted in excess amount, that's when we have chronic hypertension. And, uh, and that's one of the mechanisms of chronic hypertension. So obviously the NO produced by endothelin B is not, uh, is not enough. Usually other mechanisms along with NO uh, secreted by the, uh, by the smooth muscles of, of the endothelial cells, sorry, the blood vessels of the endothelial cells compensate for it along with other mechanisms, but in chronic hypertension, uh, this will overtake and we have permanent vasoconstriction and retention of sodium, causing chronic hypertension.